So guys, welcome back to the, another episode. You guys can a slightly different background. Okay, so we're going to talk about how plain gears work. And in order to understand that, let's talk about the physics behind... Okay, before we get to physics, let's talk about why a plane needs landing gears. So, here you see... This is the runway, and this is that guys, so as you see here, that is the plain runway, and this will be the plane's body. So if you see, here it rubs against this, and the yellow part is the part where there's friction between the play body and the ground. If you see all that part, and, and if you're good at physics, you would know that if you rub against something very hard, then, uh, then like a part of it will go away. So basically, so like basically this will be the so we did this in the thickness of the actual fuselage before, right? Before the first landing is was made. And take off the same. Take off, you won't reach the V1, rotate a V2 speed. If you if you didn't have landing didn't have landing gears. Okay, so <coughs> the parts that I get rid of will be the part that's gone roughly each landing. That will be gone on first landing. That will be called a second landing. That will be called a third landing. That will be called the fourth landing. That will be called the fifth landing. That will be called the sixth and uh, seventh. Seven landings, not very durable. Okay, so you saw how there were seven landings, it's not durable at all. And it's basically as it's we did the same as if plates can only be used once, land, and then they have to come from the whole plane again and take off. It's like not much people actually use it. <coughs> so let's get a little better look at how airplane landing gears work. So there was before a second. Uh, let's see how we do this. Okay, here we have the landing gear of an actual plane, and I think this is a A387 or 7. That's a 747 or something. Or 787. No, not a 787 or something. I don't actually know what this plane is. I think it's a 747. Anyways, so first of all, how the landing gear works, if you can look at this gear right here, the yellow bar is where the landing gear sits on and this far okay I'll draw that a little in a little better way so you see how this rod here running through there is the rod that's holding the two wheels together and this rod here oh my god okay so this rod here I have the uh, sort of hold to the yellow. That is what holds the two wheels together. This is what holds the bar to the body, or the wheels will just be like two wheels that's spinning on the road and that never topples over. It moves nothing apart from itself. Oh, and also, guys, in case you didn't know, uh, this red thing is the remove before flight tag that you must take it off, or else. The plane after it takes off the landing gear will retract. Back to it. Okay, now that you know it, you can see that there's a hydraulic actuator. So I'm gonna highlight the green parts they that you see in green are the parts that can be compressed up to. So quickly be compressed up to there, which helps cushion the landing. And in case you don't know what I mean. I'll tell you what I mean. Okay. Be first me for a second. Okay. 
Mm. Okay, so let's see. This. Okay, I'm sorry about that. This slide right here. Okay, you see? This slide right here is the stress product. So basically, how hard I pull on something. For instance, I have a rubber, right? If I push it too hard, it'll stop. But if I do it soft enough, then it'll still stay the same. I'll tell you why in a second. So here's the rubber, you know, this, that is the time. And then I'm going to draw some. I'm gonna. So there's this beam in blue, which is the fracture point. Basically, where at a point that at that much stress it will basically go boom or break. Basically, if you if you know like, okay, so just think of it. If I jump up without bending my legs, you can see how I shook a lot, right? But if I jump up and bend my legs, you can see that that is what spreads out the time, which basically makes, which basically cushions the landing. So basically, so basically, if you have big force, sorry for all of that messy writing, big force it means small time. If you have small force, it means that you have big time. So basically, if I just landed straight like a bam, it's basically like there's a very big force and there's very small time. So basically, at the beginning, at the beginning, the so power in green is basically all of the red, sorry, it's all of the energy that has to be used, right? And then after, and then like, basically this red bar separates it just so that it can make it a little more clear. And then the blue part is basically where the magic happens. So as soon as it starts, there's always this. So if so if everything so if there was very big force for a very small time, this is exactly what will happen. It will peak above the point. You see? So if you see how how this part goes up. It spikes, and then that is what goes makes the whole thing go boom. Okay, so so we have a green one. So blue one means if there was a spike, a green one basically blue one basically means that very it basically climbs bit by bit. And then it goes down again. So when it gets to the bottom of the compression, as it suffer from all that force, it can no longer compress. So it'll shake a bit, which will result in going a little higher. And if the case that the hydraulics wasn't fully extended for some cause, then yellow will be the case. Or land, or, or land like normal. Okay, I'm going to use. Okay, I'll just use red again. You know that you know what I'm using red for, right? Okay, and then it'll slowly spike up. And because all of the previous forces took take away from all of the total force, it basically means that basically means that you have a little less force. And now let's get. Back to the image. Okay, so now you know all about the compression. Now you're able to ask me, but hey, Richard, what is that sort of little actuator sitting here doing? Well, I'll tell you. So if you look, if you look closer at some bow 747 landings, the wheels are slightly tilted. Show you an image of that right now. Uh, where's that button? Okay, so you can see how the landing gear is tilted. Okay, sorry about all of the blurry photos. This one is the best quality that I could take. 
So if we go to draw for a second, you can see that remember how last time or since the place tilted, right? Like, it was supposed to be like this, like this wheel, but um, but it's like this instead. And the reason for that is remember the actual earth I was talking about. So basically, what happens is that like you see this pencil case, right? This would be the landing gear, uh, and the the actuator is like it pushes down on it so that it goes like this, and then the sense, and then the reason for that is most likely space, because for Surface Seven and A three eighties, the space there's not much space at all. You want to keep it to the centerpiece lot so the wings could have the max benefit possible so that it can get the most fuel. And then, that yeah, increases the range and thrust capabilities, which is why you might be asking them why did you put it in the wings. I add to that question for you just then. So, yeah. Because, and then, if you, if we can zoom it a little closer. Okay, we can't worry about that. But anyway, so remember the actuator? Uh, it, the actuator it is currently it's currently here. That's where the actuator is. The circle in the dust is just true. That is where the actuator is pushing down on the thing. And then also that is also what can reduce the time. Since if you, since if you know, if you're wearing slippers and then you just land. Okay, so for that, for, so if you land on, if you land on your toes and then your heel, land on your toes then heel, that pattern, okay, I reverse it around, it can also cushion a bit of the landing. So, it's not very shaky, but not as shaky. You know, so there's always benefits to that as well. Hi hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief video about how the airplane landing gear works. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. And also, just one last thing. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you like this video and you don't like this video, also like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!